Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you, past, present, and future are returned to you. As I have said, huh? What, what the heck was that? Uh-uh. Somebody's trying to F up my vibe. Uh-uh. Stop it, honey. Stop it. All evil and negative intent of the enemy against you, past, present, and future are dismantled. What the heck? Uh, you're going to have to chill out here with these spell works. I had to catch myself. Okay, let's go ahead. As I have said, so shall it be. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. We have a king of swords that's freeing himself from some type of bondage. Someone has been stuck in some type of karmic situation with a group of people, possibly in a horrendous situation that we would not wish on our worst nightmare. Look at that on our worst nightmare. Lord, is somebody playing out here? Someone's playing with words, word magic. Mm, you don't pick the wrong one today. Let's go ahead and get into it. Anyways, before we get into our tarot reading, there is a plot against the Queen of Swords, or this is how these people see you, or maybe this is the energy you've taken on in order to balance some type of karmic cycle out with a group of people you possibly don't even know, because there's a woman out here on social media that is in competition with every high priestess that she comes across, with every woman that she comes across that she deems to be beautiful or even close to beautiful. Okay, someone is extremely insecure. Lord, insecure is an understatement for what this person is. It's bothersome, honey. It is bothersome. Okay. This is the kind of person when you are awakening and they come into your energy, you just feel like mm -mm, I don't want to be associated with that. There's a plot against a, a, a queen of swords. You are an empress, but you are in your queen of swords energy at this moment or at this time of your life. But a sister that went out, got her little group of friends to come together. They are doing some type of ritual around the full moon. They're going to be blocking your intuition. This is what they think. <laughs> is that? We're going to block her intuition. We're going to block his intuition. They ain't going to get no downloads. They can't see what we're planning against them, but honey, baby, <laughs> you tried it. You tried it. <laughs> Basically, what these people want to do is do some type of mind manipulation where you end up self-sabotaging yourself and it can lead to an ending for you. The whole time is them behind the scenes tampering with your energy, but it's not going to work. <coughs> Excuse me, Lord, they don't want this to come out. It's basically a group of four, I think four women. Or it could be some masculines in there. There's a woman in here that plays with words. She wants to go towards another person to, you know, encourage them to see things their way. It's, that it's very dangerous for this kind of person to be out here doing this kind of job. Because they're not very honest. They're not straightforward. They don't know what they're doing. I'm the gifted one. You know when you got to go to someone and try to prove that you're gifted, you ain't gifted at all. There's <laughs> something wrong with you, darling. <laughs> and whoever you are that these people are coming to to convince you to be disloyal to someone, to see them in some type of light that's not fitting, I want you to think about the whole process in this situation. Someone is getting out of their life, out of their home, picking up their phone to call you, text you, email you, whatever this is, possibly even come to you physically to talk to you about another energy that one is not paying them any mind. That two, even if they were aware of this woman, they still wouldn't be paying her any mind. Three, this, they haven't done anything to this woman or this group of friends. Okay. This is all about money. Someone wants to prove that she's the best. He's the best. And this is why they're coming after someone else. So basically everything they're telling you is based on a lie. <laughs> this is what they don't want you to know. But now you know. So 
I don't know what the heck this has to do with, but there's a woman out here that's set on being seen as the most powerful high priestess in the world. She wants to be seen as the most successful one between you and her. But how did you get your money? Did you get your money slipping and slurping? You didn't want to talk about that? You didn't, you didn't tell him that? You didn't tell them that? You got your money slipping and slurping? It's not based on gifts and talents? Try. <laughs> Ooh, you picked a fight with the wrong high priestess. I see. She said she don't got no chill today. She got time and a lot of time. And all she got is time and a lot of time to cause you burdens. <laughs> she said, I got endless possibilities. I got options on how I can cause you endings. You can tell lies, but I can end you with the truth. <laughs> With the truth, with the truth, not the truth got you what way down in burden. You want to take a drastic action to come in what? <laughs> to hinder someone's abundance. You said, don't give her that ace of pentacles. Don't give him that ace of pentacles. They're not worthy. Oh, they're going to get that ace of pentacle, doll pentacle darling. Mm. Look at them being happy in life. They said, thank you, source. I've worked so hard to get to where I am. And you know I got here the right way through sweat Blood, hard work, and a whole lot of chaos from the haters. <laughs> and through it all, I still arrived to my destination. Source, you've been watching, correct? You've been watching? Source said, yes, I've been watching. You did your thing. You did your thing. High five on that. Boop. <laughs> this is a whole impress out here that's that they're coming after folks to destroy. So someone is leaving their community. This could be like a mother figure, wife figure. She's going to go to another community or she's forming some type of alliance with a group of people on how, how they're going to come together to block you from being seen. But guess what, darling? You're about to be seen. You're about to be in your best energy, living your best life out here. Let them do what they want because it's already dismantled. All evil and negative intent of the enemies against you all. <laughs> Past, person, and future are all dismantled immediately and permanently. Okay, baby, they are busy. They are busy manipulating. This empress you are coming after has self-mastered themselves. This could be a man or woman. This is a healer with foresight into the past, present, and the future. You are wasting your time. They want you to be so stuck in your mind. So they're planning their next ritual on how they're going to temper with your energy. Your mental is going to be all over the place. You won't even be able to focus on your work if you are a practitioner, honey. Because these suckers here, they've been after these practitioners like nobody's business. It's a full-time job. You know when you got to prove that you are a better practitioner than the next practitioner, you ain't a practitioner. Let me say that again. For the people in the back. Oh, not you too. We're talking about the people in the back back. You too. You're good. You're good. If you got to prove that you are a better practitioner than the next practitioner, you ain't a practitioner. You a fool. <laughs> okay? So this king of swords may be in the know about something that's been going on. He has the truth. He knows the truth now. So he's freeing himself from some, some type of karmic situation that's been filled with nothing but dread. He said, oh my God, they had me running around in a ketuba. They don't told me so many lies. They told this man so many lies. It didn't even make no sense. Someone has been stuck in a karmic cycle for so long and it's been so full of burdens. He didn't even know what to do. But someone simply needed to go within and see things from a higher perspective. Self-actualize, balance themselves out so that they could take the action that they needed to to come in and balance something out. Maybe with another company, another person, whatever this has to do with but a brother is free and he may be heartbroken because of something he did to you or how he handled a situation. But there's something where it's like a group of people, either a group of women or just a community, a family. They've been playing a lot of mental games with possibly a king of swords, king of pentacles energy. But this person is a little bit too intellectual for them. Is that someone is a, like 10 steps ahead of them and they're still at step one and they don't know he's at step 10 and they're still trying to manipulate him. Somehow he ended up in some type of karmic community community with these people. But this is someone that's self-actualizing. This is someone saying, I got to get the heck up out of here. What, what the heck is this? Nonsense. What, what, what is this? 
Look, Becky, what is this? What is this, Becky? So he don't free himself. He's moving on with his life, coming out of this karmic, whatever this is, union, quote, COVID institution, getting out of a horrendous marriage that won't go in nowhere, hasn't been going nowhere. It's been stuck for a long time. I don't know if this is a marriage or a long time relationship, whatever this is, baby, it don't cause this man a lot of heartbreak. Whatever he did to you, it has something to do with him helping these people sneak you, trying to defeat you. You know, they're planning another ritual on how you can end up out in the cold, in poverty. Baby, this is not your life. This is not your portion in life. Okay, I'm telling you, this brother is out here self-actualizing. This is all him. He said, I've had enough. I'm done. I can't do this no more. No more, no more, no more, no more. He done told him to hit the road. He said, Jack, you hit the road. Becky, you hit the road. Elizabeth hit the road. Uh, the, the name Elizabeth has been coming up a lot on this channel. I don't know what you're up to, Elizabeth, but you need to calm down. Calm down, Elizabeth. Lisa, calm down. Okay? Anyways, whatever they've been doing, he don't told Jack, Becky, Elizabeth, Hannah, Karen, Billy, Julie, whoever hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come around no more. He don't defeat his enemies. He's self-actualizing, wanting to have a new beginning, taking some type of action to advocate either for him or uh, advocate for a queen of swords, the same one they're trying to destroy out here. Maybe these people know who this man is or they don't know who he is, but I don't think he cares. He said, I'm out of here. I can't do this stuff no more. This chapter has been a long-winded and just karmic one. I'm tired of these karmics. This man wants to have wish fulfillment in life wants to be abundant in life wants to live in the truth have a lot of options in life when it comes to his abundance his resources which is exactly what he's gonna have okay he's coming to you to clarify some things to you woman of high honor man of high on your honor is about to be what balanced now you're about to be living a fulfilling life out here doing your thing, your thing, your thing, a thing, 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 manifesting the spirit into the physical baby. You're about to be accelerating, getting married, being friends with your partner, connecting with your soul tribe, stepping out on faith, having that brand new passionate beginning that you deserve. Someone is about to pass away in karmic veil. Someone already passed away in karmic veil. And baby, we told them ahead of time, but they didn't listen. It's karma. It's another tower coming in. These people want to cross a tower to you, but it's only going to lead to a tower for them. You know what? You, you want to know what it is they're trying to do? They're trying to steal your wish fulfillment, block your wish fulfillment. They don't want someone seeing you as an option. Someone may have a lot of emotions for you, and it bothers these people. They say, we don't want her having true love. We don't want him having true love. They'll have No, we don't have true love in our lives. We've never had anyone that genuinely cared about us. Because you know what? We ain't never give a damn about nobody else but ourselves. So since ain't nobody ever care about us, we don't want anyone else to have it. Especially that empress we don't told you is worthless, is incompetent. It's chaotic, unstable, imbalanced and because their light bothers those demons that's within us that we don't want to have to face. Yeah. Don't, you can't go to her. Don't go to her. Don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. Uh -uh, you're misusing that song. No, that ain't how that works. So, um, baby, somebody's about to be passing away. When they After they take action to do something to you, it's going to be the end of the road. They're trying to put an end to you being multifaceted, you being innovative. They said, this person here, this is like a thinking machine. She's always thinking of something. He's always thinking of something. We need to put an end to it. Okay, we don't want them being innovative. We've been out here pretending to be the ones that are innovative, especially the feminine energy behind the scenes that's in competition with you, Collective. Oh, baby, she's bothered by that. You probably don't even know this woman. Someone is, this woman is out here, she, she got a little bit of coins that she got from slipping and slurping, you know what I mean? And it's bothering her that you're not out here trying to rush your way to the top. You say, you know what? Slow and steady wins the race, so you ain't bothered or worried about your numbers. You just try to make sure, keep an eye on your work, make sure that it's, you know, it's there. So what they want to do is temper with your work, 
tamper with your energy to discourage you from moving forward, but they want to do it in a sneaky way where it's like you think you're the one that's doing it. So you start thinking these negative thoughts, feeling these negative emotions, and then you end up giving up on your work or something. You can say, oh, I don't think I'm in the right field. Your ancestors want you to know you are on the right path. A A A. It's an, a path of abundance, security, and fulfillment, baby. This is like the universe blessing you with infinite abundance. So this is not something people can take away from you. You see that eight right there? Having to do with self-actualizing and being on the right track, getting on the right track. Baby, the, the universe ain't playing. They said, listen, li listen, <laughs> Naomi Ruth. <laughs> Boy, yes, listen, we told you you're on the right path already. Keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep, just keep, yeah, baby. And you just keeping on with your swimming got these people bothered. You a whole empress out here, Okay. Someone's wife may be falling ill, passing away. Listen, y'all been told time and time again, back the heck up of this light worker, these light workers. You ain't listening. So an empress, either a wife figure, mother figure is about to fall ill. I'm just telling you what it is I'm being told. I'm just a messenger. Okay. I am just the messenger. I deliver the message. Whether you accept it or not, that's your business. I don't care. I'm just here to tell you. But there is a mother figure, wife figure, whoever this is, you're about to be sick, sick. Whatever you're about to do to an um, empress, a high priestess, higher fence, star sea energy, you're about to be sick, sick out here. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm being told to tell you. You may be going home. He's like, you know what, <laughs> Mary, come on back home. Come on back home. Because you're out here manipulating energy, misusing the little bit of gifts we left you with. Come on back home, Mary. Come on back home. You're going to go to sleep and try this rodeo again in a in, in, in maybe a thousand years, a hundred, whatever this is. You're going to try again. But right now, you feel this mission. This lifetime, you feel. Come on back. Come on back. Everybody, the whole group is under judgment. Okay, everybody's under judgment and everything you're plotting, guess what? It's in the know. We all know the Queen of Cups you're trying to attack, they know. Okay, they know. So a Queen of Cups don't already call judgment on you all and there's a tower coming for you. You don't even know and you're busy plotting an ending for that Queen of Cups. You want to play with magic, right? You want to play with the big boys. Bam, bam. It's time to play with the big boys. Yeah, I know how the thing go, <laughs> right? <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. This family here, you're plotting the cause. Another still may have someone trapped. It's a king of swords. Not the first king of swords. There's another king of swords in here. About to try to trap someone in their mind. It's a, hey, I don't know if you know this, uh, but we don't need your services no more. Or this person passed away. They're, they're about to do something real slimy. Something real slimy. To keep you trapped, to keep you bounded. They may even be trying to bring legal issues to you that ain't even legit. Faking things, fraud, fraudulent activities. This is a kink of swords that likes to be controlled. But he's the one in his mind, stuck in his mind right now. Because baby, you ain't going for nothing. You said, I'm good. You think I don't know what you've been up to here pretending to be a higher fan in the upright? You think I don't know? Whatever it is you're trying to do, go ahead and do it. My ancestors are going to tear your behind up. Go ahead and do it. Do your thing, honey. Go on. Do your thing. They're about to be performing a new ritual, honey. Mm. But there's a secret. The universe is hiding from them. They said, go, go ahead. Do your thing, Billy. Go ahead, Billy. Go ahead. You're going to what? Oh, you're going to trap them. You're going to block them. Send them some type of communication to keep them trapped in their mind. Confuse them. Have them living in anxiety. You don't know what we got for you, do you? You don't know what we got planned for you. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, we're going to love it. <laughs> Bombastic side. <laughs> <laughs> this whole family, darling, they're planning on how they can cause another stagnation in your life. Still may keep you blocked from having a new beginning. They're going to go manipulate someone so that they don't see you from a higher perspective. They don't hold you in high honor. Because whoever it is, they're trying to cloud their judgment. This is someone that thinks very highly of you. I'm telling you. 
They, they think very highly of you, okay? So this could be a king of pentacles that thinks very highly of you. May feel like you're very genuine. You're a healer. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see, yeah, honey. Oh, this person sees you as wish fulfillment. They want to work with you. But this whole group here, they said, mm-mm, over our dead body. We don't, we've invested too much. We don't told you this person is not the one for you because you're supposed to be working or partnering up with the person we tell you is good for you. You don't know what's good for you. We know you're old enough to make your own decisions. This could be someone in his 40s or 50s. They said, nah, you don't know what's good for you. We know what's good for you. And it ain't that high priestess. It's not that empress. It's not that star seed. It's our karmic daughter that we're trying to introduce to you. We want you to stay in Carmichville. This could be a king of swords, king of pentacles energy that's, you know, taking on the rightful energy at the right time to check a mother effer because they keep trying him. He don't got in his king of swords energy to get the heck up out of this institution, out of this karmic relationship, out of this loveless relationship where the woman ain't doing nothing but sending and doing magic uh -huh, on him to him. Mm -mm. You saw how he left all of that behind him? Everything just behind him. He said, you know what? <laughs> Be gone, karmic. <laughs> Be gone, karmic family. All the toxicity. The, 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 just keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. He left everything behind him. He said, you know what? I want to go forward and be abundant, be affluent, be influential, be wealthy. Have wealth that's actually genuine wealth. Not something I got to sleep with one eye open because someone's trying to take it because the way I got it. So now that they know this man is moving on with his life, they say, uh-uh. We need you to go in his office, go to his house, call him, text him, email him. Send him some type of communication to let him know he's making the wrong move. They may even tell him that what? Oh, she got married. She's in the relationship now. Anything to block this man from moving on. Anything. They may have even told this man before that you were in a relationship. You were married out here. Maybe you, some of you passed away. You don't pass away five times and you don't even, <laughs> you don't even know it. It's a lies for me. It's the incompetence for me. It's the desperation for me. They say anything to keep these two from coming together. Even when this man does come towards you, they're doing magic to make sure that you refuse him. They want you to think he's karmic. He has ill intent for you. Okay. He don't mean you know well. He's out here with options just to laying it loose, wide, near, and far with everybody. That's what they want you to think so you can refuse him. This is this man's intention for you. Whoever this is, this man is putting an end to a karmic cycle to have a new beginning, stepping out on faith. Doing his best to live in the upright. I'm telling you, he's putting an end to a chapter to start a new one where he will be in his best energy. But someone wants you to feel that a masculine is loose and reckless out here and got nothing to offer you. And the car came out again. I'm telling you. This man wants to be married. This could be a king of wands. Putting an end to some type of karmic cycle so that he can have a new beginning with you. Stepping out on faith, on hope right? Getting in touch or back in touch with source, right? Living in the upright does want a commitment with you, may want to marry you, right? Someone has gone from being a little bit on the, maybe he's gone through some type of transition, some type, type of ascension, but now he wants to be in like a committal relationship. So maybe he was a little bit on the wild side before, but now this is what he wants to be in a committed relationship. Okay, so he's taking some type of action to come towards you so he can put an end to this karmic chapter and balance things out, living in his higher form, and it got people burdened out here. He may be worried that you, that has self-mastered yourself, you're going to re refuse an offer from him even though he's chosen you, does want to work with you, put in the work, right, to defeat these people so that you too can have a new beginning. He's wanting to be your emperor. And he knows you're on a high priestess, right? But he knows. Baby, he knows. <laughs> he knows something. I can't tell you what it is. I've been told to keep it to myself. But, baby, he knows. This man is just scared that you're going to reject him. That's all. He said, uh, 
if I go in and give her this offer, she's going to leave me out in the cold. Not knowing that I see her as wish fulfillment. I want to be with her. I know the truth now. I'm working on myself. I'm going for the things I want in life. And she's that. Okay. I want to work with her. He sees your wish fulfillment, baby. He sees your wish fulfillment. But, you know, you got to make the decisions that work for you. Because a lot of the times, what? Even though we are the high priestesses, you all know a little bit more about your situations than we do. So maybe you are familiar with who this masculine is. And you had some type of horrendous experience with them in the past. And you just don't want to repeat a cycle. But baby, look at this, look at this. Whoever this king of swords, king of pentacles energy is, baby, he got a whole lot of emotions for you. A whole lot of emotions. And they're trying to block that. These people are trying to cause some type of, like, they said, yeah, uh -uh. he can't love her. We don't do everything to block this empress from receiving love. So they can't block it. So they're stuck in their mind because this man is still going to be communicating with you. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? They're trying to test the water. Were we able to deceive him so he can stop seeing her in high honor? Were we able to? No? Oh, okay. These are the kind of people when you're having conversations with them, they'll record it, but they'll cut some of the the conversation out so they can make the conversation sound like something it's not. And then they'll go play it for someone so it can have him changing his mind about you. And he's just like, oh, I thought she was, I thought she was genuine. But that's not what's about to happen, baby. Because I see this three of swords on top of this ace of cups. I mean, that man don't care, honey. He, someone has unconditional love for you. Someone, a love for you is intense. And I don't think people know that his loyalty and everything to you is intense. Someone is committed. Okay. <clears throat> Just like they're committed to stealing from you, blocking you, hindering you. He's committed to you. So I don't know who this is, but he's committed to coming in and giving you an offer to balance things out in your life so you can stay in this energy of yours, Miss Bougie Bougie. Uh, Bougie Bougie. May we? Okay. Okay. Maybe this could be your emperor showing up in all of his different energies. Okay. Oh, I'm telling you. Listen. Listen. Listen, sir. If you ain't left this community yet, you have better hop on. Run, Forrest, run. Because you leaving this community, this marriage, that what this collaboration is saving you. You narrowly escaped. You narrowly escaped your own ending. You didn't know they were plotting on you, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, I said plotting and the seven of swords came out. They are plotting on you. And they're plotting on sending a feminine energy, some type of communication to have them stuck in their mind. They may even be sending you to see <coughs> oh, they don't want that coming out. They're going to send you some type of message. They have you stuck in your mind. And it has to do with the person that you're wanting to connect with. They're going to tell you they're already in a new partnership so they can stop you from moving forward. Go ahead and take your move. Make your move. Whoever you are with, they're not freaking in a relationship they may want to tell you someone is sick so that you can put an end to this union that you want to be in with someone listen go find the truth out for yourself i don't care if they tell you someone is married someone is dead go and find out the 411 for yourself they don't want you self-actualizing <clears throat> baby they don't want this truth coming out at all i was doing just fine until i sat here to do my reading they don't want this coming out the new plan is to send you some type of communication and tell you either a woman is in a relationship, she don't got married and everything. They may want to send her communication to let her know that you don't got married and everything out here. You're out here uh, uh, committed, attached, obligated, okay, out here living your bougie, we weep life with your partner. If you are, congratulations, it's what the high priestess wants to tell you. These kind of folks, they ain't worried about all of that. If a source allow you to get married to someone else, they say, oh, well, source knows best. <laughs> That's the part low vibrational people don't get. They never look at things from the other side because they're too small-minded 
to see things from a higher perspective. Oh, if you communicate with a high priestess, man or woman, and tell them that their twin flame or their higher level soulmate don't went and got married, they say, well, source knows best. <laughs> That's like that tingle. Mothers knows best. Listen to your mother. And source knows best. So we're going to listen to source. Source felt like it was best for that man or woman to get married to someone else. We say, okay, source, we're trusting you to figure out the situation. We go back to our business, our practitioner, practitioner business, divination, whatever it is we do, healing. We don't worry about it. So if a man got married, a woman got married out here, congratulations. But no, they want to tell him you're sick. Something is wrong with you. You're dying. You're this and that. You don't got obligated out here. You're way down and all of that. They want to tell someone some really horrible things. Just so he does not make a move to come towards you. Because these people said they'll be done if they live in a world where a high priestess, empress energy, or a masculine has wish fulfillment and they're happy together being innovative together and the universe supports them together and they're going for the things they want in life and being what committed and sharing and happy together connected with their soul tribe don't got out here created a whole soul tribe for themselves and they're having wish fulfillment and healing the world and staying balanced and things like that oh no someone said she want to come in and cause some problems Oh, they're coming in, Queen of Swords. I told you what, at the beginning of this message, they're plotting against the Queen of Swords. Here they come. Here they go. Here they go. Baby, here they come. Trying to interfere with, 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 with justice. They said, no. Things cannot go in the right direction for her. We told him she's worthless. We told him she's imbalanced. We don't bribe people behind the scenes and everything to make sure... She don't get nothing. We need him to cut her out of this contract. Don't make a contract with her. Don't give her no opportunity. Don't invest nothing. So we got to we gotta go above and beyond. So I'm going to go from community to community. Even though I'm sick and I'm hiding it. Because someone is sick. Oh, if someone is sick in this community... This collaboration that's going on, someone is sick and you will be passing away. Just know that you didn't think we knew that you. Just know that you are sick and you are about to be going back to the dream world, the spirit realm. When you get there, your, your soul guy is going to be looking at you like, mm, mm, mm. You know that look your parents give you when they're disappointed, but they don't say nothing. They just shake their head in disappointment and you just know. You let them down. That's the look your soul guy is, uh, baby. <laughs> That's the look your soul guy is about to be giving you when you go back to the dream realm. They said, oh my gosh. We told you to stop astral projecting into this person's energy. We told you to give this up a long time ago. What is wrong with you? You know something I've realized? When we are in this realm, on this realm, we take things so serious. And then when we go to the spirit realm, we look back. We're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe. I spent all my time in that lifetime coming after someone just so they wouldn't have love. Are you thinking about that? <laughs> I wasted my whole life away to block someone else's life and I still feel miserably. Are you thinking about it now, karma, karmics? <laughs> You're using, spending all this money to have people astral projecting into someone else's energy. And at the end, look at that. They're still getting what's theirs. Still getting that solid commitment. They're trying to have you breadcrumb someone or they're trying to send someone into breadcrumb or feminine energy. They say, you know, we know you have like this is a pentacles offer coming in, but we're going to send a knight of pentacles to come in and give you a, a cute little offer. And uh, it's, a, it's a failure. This whole community, family, whatever it is, it's a failure. Your strength, this is the end of it. I know you all wanted to stay strong and keep going, but it's the end of the road for you all. And you can keep living in denial. <coughs> or you want, you don't want that to come out. One of yours is sick and they're hiding there. You may want to find out who is sick behind the scenes. Maybe try to take care of them. I'm telling you, somebody is sick. <laughs> and the whole family ain't doing well. They don't came together. We're, co we're coming together. 
Let's come up with a new plan. Everything we planned, they, they know. Let's come up with a new plan. Everything you plan, they're going to know, darlings. That attack, that spiritual attack where you guys are going to be astral projecting and sending a lot of energies around the full moon. You're already prepping for it so you don't miss your shot. You already missed your shot. <laughs> You already missed the target. You don't even know. <laughs> Look at you disappointed and ashamed out here. I thought this was the one. They will never figure out what we were doing. We got to block this person's mental. Block their intuition. Uh, that's interesting. That's real cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they think if they get you caught up in some legal issues that ain't even worth the court system's time this and this is a, one of the situation hypothetically people go and come up with some type of ridiculous court case to take you to court and then they get to court and end up in uh trouble with the court system it's a oh so you want to play on our top we got one for you <laughs> about to be burdened they want to cause you heartache so they're going to send you some type of communication <laughs> He said, hey, I don't know if you know this, but Johnny passed away. Johnny is locked up. Johnny is in a mental house. Which one is it? Is, Jen, is Johnny dead? Is Johnny locked up or is Johnny in a mental house? Is Johnny mad? What, which one is it? We don't care, but since you want to tell us, which one is it? Like, you got to get your story straight before you send this communication. <laughs> You got to get your story straight, okay, before you go for it. Because <laughs> everything is just being illuminated. There's something where it's that terror readers are revealing the truth. <laughs> it is frustrating someone behind the scenes because all their plans are being exposed. Just out in the open. It's like someone's mental is an open book for all the terror readers. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I said no. Oh my God! They keep telling the truth. <laughs> Why are you trying to block someone's intuition? That's because you ain't living the right way. You didn't get to where you are the right way. I'm telling you, move on. They're still move on. Move on. Let go. Whatever you're trying to send, that communication, baby, it ain't gonna bother nobody. Don't be stuck in your mind about nothing. This King of Swords, the only thing he's worried about is if the person he's trying to communicate with, this is the one in the upright, if the person he's trying to communicate with is going to receive his message the right way. And then you have a delusional King of Swords that's wondering if someone received their communication. There's something here is that they want to keep you trapped. They want to trap, they don't want to bind you. They want to tamper with your self-esteem. They want to tamper with your, your, like your, every, your life overall. I don't even know how to put it. This is how desperate these people are to be like in control of you. This is someone that's like a brute. He's used to controlling everybody, but you see right through him. You know that Nicki Minaj uh, lyrics? You, you see right through me? How do you do that? S-H-I-T. Yeah, yeah this, this will be one of those. He's been used to it. His whole life, he's been used to being manipulated. People don't see through him. Here you come, little old Queen of, so Queen of Cups. You don't step into your Queen of Swords energy to match his energy. Heck, you may even be in your Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy. You are match for him now, and it's pissing him off. So he's trapped in his mind, <clears throat> trying to figure out how he can trap you, get rid of your confidence. But it's like no matter what he does, this is you. <laughs> he's in some type of mental imprisonment, trying to put you in a mental imprisonment. But every time he, he, he sees you, hears you, this is you. Bubbly, focusing on the brighter things in life keeping your mind on positivity standing your ground knowing very well baby you about to be happy 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 he's happy happy with a clear mind 
He said, no, 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 no. I know exactly what's going on. I know who you are, who she is, who she is, who he, I don't need no type of explanation from you. Done sent me no communication. I don't care who passed away, who didn't pass away. I don't care who's locked up, who's not locked up. I don't care who's in a mental asylum, who's not in a mental asylum. I don't care who's alone in a relationship, not receiving love. We do not care. If it got to do with your kid, that's your kid, not us. Okay, okay, because <laughs> all of it is illusions, illusions. So that's your business. You figure it out. You figure it out. Someone may want to communicate with you and let you know that if less some type of toxic situation, they say, hey, I just want you to know I'm no longer part of that uh, institution. I don't work with them anymore. I've taken time to balance myself and self-actualize and see things from a higher perspective. I have foresight now of what is going on. They say, oh uh, yeah, hey, you're like two years, 10 years, five years late, sir. What do you want us to do with that? What do you want us to do with that? Huh? We don't know. You're going to have to tell us. Okay. But we're glad you're free. You is free. Look at you. Look at you. You is now free. You is a free man. Glory to source. <laughs> Glory to source. He wants to communicate with you. Let you know that he is now a free man. I is free. I is finally free. That's what he wants to tell you. <laughs> Say, Sir, you, you do know that we are aware of the whole situation, right? He, okay. So we're just going to skip over everything you did? Is that what you're telling us? Is that what you're telling us? He said he's going for it. That's okay, sir. Go for it. You're, we encourage everybody to always go for what it is they want. And I think you've been doing some work behind the scenes, but there's something about your energy that just ain't sitting right. There's something about your motives. Hopefully they're genuine. Pure intent. <laughs> okay. Pure intent. Hopefully. You're out here afraid of self-sabotaging. You say, I hope when I go towards her, she does not reject me. Oh, you're going to have to come in with the true, true, because this is someone that's practical, practical. They're going to see everything you're trying to hide. So you're coming in to play games, play mind games, manipulate why you're trying to collaborate with other people behind the scenes? This is a whole setup to make it look like what you are trying to support a uh, light worker. Oh, they're going to know. They're going to know. They is going to know. You you better come correct. But there's something I'm hearing. It said no matter what these Cormacs do, this man still holds you in hard regard. And when they're done lying, manipulating, sir, every one of them <laughs> are lying. Now, we don't keep this, this high priestess. Empress, light worker, they don't care if you come towards them or not. That don't make no difference because the universe is gonna make sure they're taken care of. But we just want you to know all those people around you that keep telling you this and telling you that about that woman that you want to go towards, they're lying to you. They're manipulating you. They want to make it seem like they're supporting you, right? Is that we just want to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of. We just want you to to be careful. Because this is someone that's a gold digger. They're going to use you for your money. They don't bring anything to the table. They're insecure and selfish as can be. They are a narcissist, sir. They are projecting onto somebody. This is someone in the upright that you are trying to go to. And they are heavily protected. So if you have ill intent and whatever ill intent they have for this person, you best believe they are being washed over. They are being washed over. Again, this is someone in the upright. They focus on their new beginning, self-mastering, and they know someone has a very strong intuition. It's a little terrifying. If you want to know how terrifying it is, those people that keep talking to you about that person, that high priestess, yeah, this high priestess here, ask them some questions. They'll be terrified because everything someone is either saying on their platform because this is a high priestess they're coming after, it's coming to pass. These people are going through it behind the scenes, but they're hiding it. This is a high priestess that's manifesting some type of new beginning that has to do with their work, and it is protected. Oh, it's protected. 
They're manifesting some type of collaboration in the, for the future. And they will be seen. You have been working hard to make sure someone is not seen by the public eye. They will be seen. And this is destiny. Oh, baby, they, 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 they is going to be seen, seen. Look at that. Someone's work is being protected by the spirit realm because they're in their calling. They're in their purpose. So there you go. <laughs> and it has these people living in fear. They're afraid that things are going to go in the upright for this high priestess empress energy. It's supposed to go in the upright. But yeah, I'm telling you, it's going to be balanced out. And they're about to be out here pissed off because this person is free to go and be them. He said, no, she should not be her. There's something bothersome about what she does, what he does. No one should have that kind of clarity about life, about other people. If you stay out of people's energy, they won't be picking up on you. We don't want you to see this person as genuine. Uh, sir, there she go. There him go. We don't want you to see them as innovative. There you go. There she goes. Innovative as always. Multifaceted. We don't want you to see them as balancing in the upright right there. <laughs> but if you want them to entertain their dark side and bring an end to this nonsense, uh, death. <laughs> They're trying to put an end to someone's resources. This is why they keep talking to you. Trying to talk you out of taking some type of action to balance something out. Whoever you're worried about rejecting you, I don't think they're going to reject you. They're just going to be straightforward with you. Like, why did you do that? Why did you do that to me? What did I do to you? And I know you're out here embarrassed for collaborating with these people against the whole Queen of Cups. Now you know that the truth is bothering you. Sir, you don't got nobody to blame but you. You're working with a whole group of people to take down someone that was what? genuine now you're having nostalgic feelings about them right and it's like, i remember they were very genuine they looked out for me none of these mother efforts in here look out for me like that person did whether this is a man or a woman this karmic cycle is over folks it's over the time for you are celebrating is over you are defeated you're still out here trying to defeat a queen of cups you're living in denial. This karmic cycle is over. I'm telling you, it's over. This king of swords is trying to trap someone and play with their confidence. And look at this. This person went from a page of wands to the stars. So you can't do nothing. This is a healer. They're naturally a healer. So it's that whatever you do, they already know ahead of time. So they already know what to do to balance out, to transmute that energy so you're sending them negative energy and they're transmuting it to something positive so this person is always going to be balanced and you're always going to be frustrated behind the scenes it's a man that's frustrated behind the scenes because his magic ain't working someone is someone has been doing something the same way for a long time and now they're trying to come up with a new way on how to uh, temper with your energy and it's not working it's never going to work never was meant to work you're always going to be this star c queen of cups energy so it's like he's wasting his time people don't invest their money into this stuff to block your forward movement is that like, what the heck are you all doing this for and they say you are a little bit too strong for them and your strength is what's leading you to this abundance Listen, you are too strong for these people. They don't destroy so many futures. And this is the, you know how sometimes there's their feather that breaks the camel back. Collective, you are the feather that broke the camel's back. No, no, not look at the camel out here. Talking about, eh, eh, they don't even know what sound to make no more. <laughs> this whole group is going to be disappointed. The collaboration over. I'm so bored with this read because the, the yeah, yeah energy is just ugh. Yep. Yeah. Can you imagine incarnating to just to do this? Just to do this. Can you imagine just in, the, the going through the trouble of incarnating, having the options to take a different path, but you keep Taking the same karmic path every lifetime. Thinking you're doing something new. It ain't nothing new. 
This is old. I'm telling you, you've been repeating the same cycle. You keep lying to yourself thinking it's something new. But it's the same old cycle you've been repeating. Same old cycle. You say, yeah, I'm in charge now. I'm in charge. No, you're not. As an emperor that's about to meet, be meeting his, 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 I don't know if this is his love interest or just someone he holds in high, high regard. Maybe they're going to be meeting. I don't know what to tell you. Or I need to stop doing this reads late night because, baby, I'm just bored. Because this cycle has been too long, chaotic for no reason. Because this is a bunch of insecure women and men that just don't know when to let go. You guys to know you are emotionally imbalanced when you will allow your whole life to be about somebody else that ain't paying you no mind. He said, just stay patient at the right moment. We're gonna strike and we're gonna take her out. We're gonna take him out. And that empress is like, uh, yeah. L l l listen, this cycle is already over. I think you are living in denial. Because I already caught judgment in this situation. Yeah, it's over. It's been over. You're just not wanting to accept defeat. But it's over. It's over now. It's been over now. It's been over a long time. Long, long time. Long time. I know that I can make it. And that's the truth to you. She said she knows. I'm telling you, she knows. She knows. Like, this woman knows what the heck is about to happen to all of you because of the choices you made <laughs> to keep something going by trying to block two people from coming together. And you tried to block them because you know they were going to be abundant together. You all wanted to uh, be abundance for yourself. You said, if we can get him to get with this karmic feminine energy, then we'll all benefit. If it goes to that high priestess empress energy... They ain't finna share nothing with us. They finna be out here living their good life, getting married, rejecting offers from us. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what, what was the reason? Why did they reject offers from you all, Karen? What was the reason? Is it because you tried to unalive them? You've been out here doing dark magic, trying to cause them endings. You're trying to end their emperor as well. You think they didn't know? Oh, they knew. They knew about all the illusions. They knew all about it. And you have been out here just uh, being reckless. Just being, yeah, just being reckless. Don't be disappointed now. Don't be throwing temper tantrums in the in the background. Talking about, oh my gosh, she knows everything. He knows everything. Yeah, these high priestesses, baby, they know everything. The truth. They're bringing truth and clarity. This age of Aquarius, oh, baby, is going to be the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help us source. So help us ancestors. I'm um, ancestors said, yep. Yup. It's been balanced out. Baby, them ancestors don't make judgment. Uh it said the whole family, the whole community is under judgment. We don't got time. We don't got time. We've been patient enough. So the whole queen of wands under judgment. This will be, Lacey, she's trying to hide now. You know why she's hiding and not showing up in the readings anymore? It's because she's out here pretending to be healed. She's pretending that she's living in the upright, that something's not bothering her. She's pretending to be secure and assertive and, you know, kind. She ain't none of that. Ain't nothing changed with this woman. She's still out here pretending. Still pretending. She is still pretending and she's still easily triggered behind the scenes on things that got, don't got nothing to do with her. She is still, listen, I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. I'm triggered. She is still triggered behind the scenes. Again, darling, you out here trying to trying to prove that you're better than other women. You got more money than them. How'd you get your money? Slipping and slurping? Okay. <laughs> Slipping and slurping and stealing from people, right? Trying to defeat a whole high priestess out here that got options and how well they can end your abundance. <laughs> Slipping and slurping. Yes, I said slipping and slurping in the wand came up. 
Girl, you've been slipping and slurping the wands. Not just one wand, but a whole lot of wands to get to where you are. You say, I don't want to do the work. Oh, that's a that's a big confirmation from the universe. <laughs> you say, I don't want to do no work to get to where I'm supposed to be. I ain't putting in no effort. Oh, no. What? Nah, I, I can lay on my back and get on my knees to get what it is I want. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then they told you how many wands you had. To, oh, you felt burdened, but you said, I can do it. You kept bracing yourself. <laughs> kept thinking about it. You said, one, one, two, one, three, one, four, five, one, six, one, seven, ones. Yeah, that, that'll do. Okay. I don't got to do no more ones. I still got to do ones. That's okay. I'm used to it now. <laughs> I'm used to it because my mama taught me how to. <laughs> She said, you got to, you want to be content in life. You want to be privileged in life. You want to live that good, good life. You got to do them once, girl. You got to steal. You got to destroy these emperors out here. <laughs> you got to go and be with them emperors. I know you don't like them, but girl, nobody cares. You got to go and do your thing. Take from people, steal from people, slip and slurp. <laughs> I just heard some. I just heard something about a mannequin. Did they teach you how to slip and slurp on a mannequin? Lord have mercy. <laughs> the hierophant knows the truth. Or you are planning to do what to a hierophant? Tell more lies to a hierophant? Make a hierophant sick? Yeah, maybe that hierophant know. They're watching too. They're watching. Is that we go and tell him this? He'll believe us and he's going to turn. Nah, nah. That higher, higher fan knows that whoever you're coming after is in the upright. They're balanced. They said, okay, listen, they've been trying to take, take this woman down for a long time now. This don't make no sense here. I've been watching these people come after this woman for a long time. Just repeatedly and repeatedly, no breaks. And it ain't going their way. And they're still trying to keep coming after her. And all their secrets keep coming out. They don't know every time they bust a move to take this woman down. They're just exposing themselves. Just exposing themselves. They don't know. So I'm going to sit back and watch. I know she's good because the source is watching over her. I know she's good. So I'm going to let this play out. They don't play out long enough. Look at them out here. Disappointed. You're still standing. This union is still coming together. They're still plotting and planning to block your... Your, your, your exposure to the public. They say, you know what? We're going to go in. We're going to defeat them. Have them left out in the cold. Rejected. And sources that, who are you talking about? Our, our child? Nah, that one is protected. It's wish fulfillment. She's still fulfilled in life. In, Miss Independent. Miss Independent. That's why we love her. And she got options, options out here. Fun to be receiving that good communication, that good, good communication, letting her know, hey, 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 someone, uh, an institution may be reaching out to you or to balance something out, or you may have a masculine that wants to reach out and balance something out so you can end a chapter. It'll say, hey, Miss Independent, we want to make you even more independent. We didn't know they were, there, they were this bothered by you. If we would have known a long time ago, we would have been fixed this situation. But we were under an illusion that you were karmic. So we had to watch you for a while. And some of the things you did were kind of questionable. Is that, yeah, it was questionable because your people were coming after us and trying to destroy us. So we had to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this is why the whole group is defeated. Why plotting someone else's ending? It's that we got to make sure they don't have a place to live. We want you to fire them so they don't have any money to feel secure in life. Then we're going to cause them a lot of financial burdens. So the money they have in their accounts, their bank accounts, they'll have to take it out and go spend it on these expenses we've caused them. And sources say, yeah, just don't get it, do you? You just don't get it. Now let's do our recap because I love doing these recaps. This King of Swords, yeah, baby, you ain't going to have a good time at all. Trying to block somebody's intuition, trying to block someone's someone's freedom, temper with their confidence. It, it ain't working. 
There's something that a king of swords does behind the scenes. He wants to temper with your confidence, but because you don't say anything, he thinks it's working. <laughs> You're just looking at these people like, Lord have mercy. When are they going to grow up? Do they know that I know? I think they do, but they're still desperate to win because you got a whole group of people that came together to take one person down. You didn't even do anything to them. They're just bothered by you. They don't like the fact that you have a gift. <laughs> I think I'm reading for the high priestesses because it look because it seems like it's that's what's been coming out a lot. It said we don't like that she has a gift, he has a gift, but we want to have that gift. We don't like the fact that they're creative, so we want to shut them down. Is that um nah, it ain't working. They've been doing a lot of mental magic, word magic, trying to take your creativity away, trying to take your imagination away, trying to take your downloads away, block, just block everything. They want you to be an empty vessel just like them. It ain't happening. This King of Swords done went out, self-actualized, seeing things the correct way. Now you like, chuck those deuces up. I'm out. Uh-uh. What? No. Trying to cause still mates, block him from moving on. He said, I, I'm still going. She's going to end you. I'm still going. She's going to do this to I'm still going. Wait. <laughs> and he's moving on because he knows the truth now about you. And that's why he's separating himself from these people, this community. Lord, these people are like, hmm. I, I can't survive around these kind of people. That's too much negativity. This is the level of negativity where when you are around this kind of group for too long, you start acting karmic too. And you f start to kind of lose yourself and you got to catch yourself. Like, wait, hold on. This is not me. I got to get the heck up out of here. I got to get the heck up out of here. Okay. So now this brother know who you are and he knows that you know what it is you're doing. Smart as heck, quick with it. And he knows you're loyal as heck. Self-master, in the upright, protected, ancestors, angels, everybody's watching over you, supporting a union that's coming into you, knowing that you are balanced, confident, and this has these people trapped in his their minds. I said, hey, is this king of swords, whoever it is, they're bothered by you. Bother is an understatement. Someone is, I don't even know what it is to say. Someone is sick to their stomach. Sick to their stomach. And there's another high, a king of swords out here that's in his truth. He's healing, going for the things he wants in life. He's in the upright. This could be a, an official or some type of PI, whoever this is. Baby, he moves in silence. He told me to hush. Sorry, sir. Let's go on to the karmics. <laughs> everybody's trying to free themselves from Carmen Vale. It looks like even the King of Pentacles is trying to free himself. He's like, I can't do it anymore. I want to go be with a divine feminine. Do you know where a divine feminine is? Do you know what a divine feminine is? I want one of those. Where do they have them at? <laughs> Baby, they be, these people don't come, came out here trying to and the higher fin, oh lord, a whole higher fin, queen of pen. That's a dang, that's a deadly combination. A higher fin, queen of pentacles. That's a deadly combination. That is a deadly combination. Oh, it ain't work though. It didn't work. You ne you never you barely made it, dog. <laughs> you barely made it. They were on your tail. Dang. Anyways, folks, this has been entertaining. Please remember, this is for all, this is all for entertainment purposes. Collective wing wink. <laughs> I will see you in my next read. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.